In the access, we use use signal hook to manage state. The state in the use signal hook changes. It will trigger re-render. Let's remove this. We will not use this. Let's also remove this. Let's go to the hello component. Let's create a multiple variable. Give the name count equal to we will call use signal hook. This hook will take a closure as argument. So let's pass a closure. The value returned from its closure will be the initial state. So let's give it an initial state 0. So this count's initial value will be 0. In this macro, let's first render the value of this count. Let's create a div element. In this div element, let's create a h1 element. Count. Count. Let's create a button. We use this button to increase this count's value by one. So let's add a onclick event. Move. We will add the move keyword to the closure. This closure can capture the event. We will not use the event, so we add the underscore in front of this event e. In this closure body, we will increase this count's value by one. So count plus equal one. Let's render content plus one for this button. Let's add a second button. We use this button to reset the count's value to zero. So let's add a onclick event. Move count. The, we will call set method to set the value of this count to zero. Let's write a Content reset for this button. Let's add a last button. So button, we use this button to decrease the count's value by one. So let's add an onclick event. Move count minus equal one. Let's render content minus one. Let's wait for the server refresh. Then let's go to the web browser. You can see in our web browser, it will render the counter's initial value is zero. Here is three button. Let's click this plus one. So it will increase its counter's value by one every time. Let's click this minus one button. It will decrease its counter's value by one every time we click this button. Let's click this reset button. It will reset its counter's value to zero. This is how we use use signal hook to manage state. Hope to see you next time.